Welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. My name is Tammy and on this channel I like to share all my tips and tricks on how I lost 205 pounds without surgery and how you can be successful on your own weight loss journey. So if that's what you're looking for, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for more videos like this one to inspire you to get started. I didn't record any of this, but yesterday Oliver was driving his car, went to push on the brakes. No brakes. None. Oh, right, he told me about that. Yeah. So, yeah, that was fun for him. So now we have and yet another thing that needs to be fixed on a car. Like we needed to add 40 more things to our repertoire of things that need to be re uh, fixed on cars and computers. I cannot wait for October. Not that I'm looking forward to the cold weather, because I am not, but because I will probably have money. We love that. Can we let us pray? Yeah. You just look so funny driving because you're so tiny. <laughs> you like fill up the whole little spot. <laughs> I love it. I, uh, was, I was watching the video the other day Dad took me first driving, and I was like, wow, I look so, like... <laughs> tiny and short? Tiny and short. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's not a bad thing to be tiny and short. It's just right. when you're driving, it's, it's like... complicated. There she goes. Hi, right, good morning, everyone. Just dropped my daughter off here at her college, and now I have to head to Walmart to get some... Um, supplies for some science experiment, well, some engineering stuff that my kids are going to do later today for their um, entrepreneurship class. And so I got to find a Walmart. I don't even know where the Walmart is down here. But I just wanted to um, talk about the scale. Today I woke up really bloated and gassy and like feeling like my stomach didn't digest. So I think that's why the scale is up. I'm not sure why that was. It's kind of weird for me. That doesn't always happen. It happens occasionally, but it doesn't happen very often since I started keto. That's part of the reason I love keto because I don't have digestive issues as often. But it's possible that I eat something that I'm sensitive to. You know? Anyway. It doesn't really matter. I don't care. <laughs> like I've said a million times, I don't care. <laughs> I'm like doing my thing and I'm not going to stress about it. I'm gonna judge every single scale movement as something bad. So <sighs> I'm feeling okay. I think I think today I might actually have time. Well, I don't know. I'm supposed to go get to the dentist to get my teeth fixed. I don't know if I'm gonna eat before or after because it's at a crappy time. It's at 11:20, so I don't know like how long I'm gonna be numb after. If I thought it was only going to be like an hour, I'd probably just wait and eat afterwards. But I'm worried that it'll be like hours and hours and it'll be like 4 o'clock and I still can't eat anything. So, I have to decide what I'm going to do that way. But I'm hoping this morning I will have time to try and show you um, how I set up my macros. Because someone asked me that. How do you make your macros and your calories line up? And I thought, oh my gosh. I should have talked about that sooner. That is actually something I should have told you guys from the very beginning. So, um, I'm going to try really hard to make time this morning when I get home after I pick up my daughter to show you how I track my food and make the calories and macros line up so perfectly. Now it's become something I do every single day. So, I should be able to show you at this point how I'm doing that.
said that I was gonna try and show you how I do my macros, but I am really on a time crunch right now, and I don't know if I wanna eat before or after I go, and so I'm like, spending the time to make the video, it's gonna mean guaranteeing I'm not gonna eat anything or feed my chickens or anything. But I think I better do it now or I'm gonna not do it later, so I'm gonna try really hard to show you. I might be able to show you just like the basics and maybe I could talk about the details later, but I have to use a different camera in order to do this, so wish me luck. I'm gonna go into today. Don't mind my kid, he's joining us. So I'm gonna go into my diary for today. Okay, so I actually don't know what I'm gonna eat today, which is a problem. That's a problem. I do know probably what I would eat tomorrow more than today. So I'm actually gonna pretend like I'm doing today, but I'm gonna do tomorrow. Does that make any sense at all? So I know that tomorrow is soup night and I'm gonna be having chicken soup. That one's easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with that. If I know what I'm gonna have for dinner and I have like a special dinner planned or whatever, I will start with tracking dinner and then build from there. Always you're gonna start with your proteins. So for dinner, I know I'm having, if I'm making a soup, that I am gonna have um, chicken thigh and I track it basically cooked meat without the skin. So I'll search chicken thigh, skin removed before eating. Right here is the one I'm gonna choose. And then I'm gonna type in six ounces. Sometimes I'll do eight ounces, but for the, for today, I think I'm just gonna go with six, okay? In my soup, I know I'm gonna have eight baby carrots, which is about 80 grams of baby carrots. So I am gonna go ahead and look that up. I really hope you guys can actually see this. Okay, so one medium is eight, there we go, eight carrots. I know I'm gonna have 40 grams of onion, because I make this soup a lot. Oh, I did 50, didn't I? No, 30, let's do 40. And 70 grams of celery. Okay. I also know I'm gonna put heavy cream in this soup. So I'm gonna look up heavy cream. And I usually do Three, but sometimes two, depending on the day. So I'll put three in here, three tablespoons for now. So you can see that puts me at 500 calories with 49 grams of protein, nine net carbs, and 26.8 grams of fat for the for my one meal. I also know I'm probably going to have a Quest Bar. Oops. So I will search up Quest Bar. And that's the one I usually do. And that puts me at 69, uh, basically 70 protein, seven, almost 700 calories, and 13 net carbs, and 33 grams of fat. So then I know I need to fill up the rest with my breakfast. Every day, I have two eggs. So we will start with eggs, okay? That puts me up to 82 grams of protein and 846.1 calories okay so then I'm gonna add in my bacon um, normally I'll do 30 or 40 okay I'm gonna put 40 and see where that puts me and then um, I'm gonna add in either my shake or my yogurt so let's just say today's a yo know, yogurt day and I already have that already programmed right here I have a half carbs one already put in here and already my cup is set 227 grams so I'll put that in there. That puts me at 120 protein, 17 net carbs, and 58 grams of fat. If I were on a cut, I would probably stop there because that is freaking amazing day right there. But I am not currently on a cut. So I'm like, oh no, I am still like 250 calories short of my goal. Also, my goal is to get 150 protein, so do not have enough protein. So I will add in my cheese that I normally do and see where I'm at. Okay, so I'm at 13, 14 calories, 135 protein, 19 net carbs, and 67 fat. I definitely need some more protein. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back up to my chicken thighs and I'm gonna change it to eight ounces and see what that does. Because protein is always my goal. Aha, that did it. 
that put me up to 150 grams of protein. My carbs are still under 20, so we're good with that, and the fats are probably what I can work with to get those calories up to 1550. I already have three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream in my soup. I could add another, but I think what I will do is I will add a, some heavy whipping cream um, that I'm going to have in my Creo brew. So I will add one tablespoon of heavy cream to my breakfast down here. That puts me at 1463, not quite where I want to be. So let's mess with, I could mess with the bacon. I'm going to put it up to 50 grams of bacon. That's another piece. Yum, yum. That puts me clear up to 1510, but I'm still looking for 1550, right? So that, that this would be like, for example, for next week because I'm at 1500. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just go with this week. I'm at 1500 this week, so I'm 10 over. What can I do? What if I, let's see, 51 calories in the heavy cream. I could cut how much I'm putting in the Creo brew, and that could really help. Or I could cut how much I'm putting in the soup. Hmm. I don't really want to mess with my carbs because they're set pretty good. So what I really need to do, and I can't mess with bacon because bacon is in pieces. So that I can't make that any different. Um, I could make the cheese a little less, but I think what I'll do is just mess with my heavy group, my heavy cream in my Creo brew, and I'll go for grams instead of tablespoons, and I will go for 10 grams and see what that does. That puts me at 1493. Ugh. Okay, 12 grams. 1500 exactly. Boom. Bingo. My whole day is done. Now I just stick to all of those for the day, and I have perfect freaking macros. So you see what I'm talking about. I start with the meal I know I'm going to eat. So if it's if I eat the same thing for breakfast every day, start with that. And then add in the other meals. Focusing on proteins first. Secondly, keeping my carbs low, under 20. And thirdly, adjusting the fats for the calories. I definitely recommend raising your proteins first if your proteins are low. Because your proteins are thermic and they're going to burn more calories just sitting in your stomach. They're going to make you more full and it's just going to benefit you in the long run to have more protein. Now, that's not what keto gurus are going to teach you, but weight loss gurus will. If you want to, to um, keep your lean mass while you're trying to lose weight, you got to keep your proteins up. Don't worry about ketosis. If you are under 20 net carbs, you are in ketosis. You don't need a test and you don't need to stress about that part. The whole goal of getting into ketosis is to keep your hunger signals from signaling you, right? That is why we're doing it. It's to get the calorie deficit. If you wiggle your calories around and you stick to those foods, you're going to be well off and you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck if you focus on your proteins, then do your carbs, and then add your fats and wiggle them around until you get to the right amount. I do this every day now because I'm changing my calorie number every freaking week and it's really complicated sometimes but once you get it set when you're in a weight loss journey and you get meals that meet those macros already set in you don't need to worry about the calories so much you need to just worry about hitting that protein keeping your fats underneath your your goal or your your limit and keeping those carbs low and don't worry about where calories hit the only reason i'm being super strict about calories right now is because i'm raising them up 50 each week and so i want to make sure i'm doing it very calculatedly so i hope that helped thanks for asking the question and we'll talk to you guys in a little while okay so since i spent my entire food time deciding if i'm gonna have food and making a fake day for you guys i went ahead and did my day for today and I ended up doing two protein bars and a protein shake which is going to push me over my carbs by about six but it's got to be done because I don't know what I'm going to be able to eat when I come home and I'm starving right now so I'm going to have a built bar right now and then later at the dance studio I'm going to have a quest bar and hope that I make it through the day okay I don't really usually like to have more than one bar um, or like I'm going to have quest chips for dinner and I'm going to, okay, I, the way I did it, I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping it that way or not, but I am going to have a built bar right now because I have to leave in five minutes and that's the fast thing I can think of to eat that I'm going to want to eat that make me so that I won't be starving just in case I can't eat when I get back. Whew. All right, guys, I am heading out to the dentist. I am not super excited. Frankly, I don't really want to do this. Don't relish the idea of being numb forever after and I definitely don't want to be laying there with my mouth open for two hours. Supposedly they're fixing filling, I don't know how many, and 
maybe even taking out some of my silver fillings. I don't even know if I have any. I, I don't know. They, I think that's what they're doing. So, uh, I don't want to. I always take my kids, and I don't usually have to take myself. I'm being a big boob about it, but I really have to go. So, my appointment's right now. I'm late. Uh, good thing it's around the corner. Numb is, my mouth isn't as numb as I thought it would be. It's numb over on this side and like if I bite, I could probably bite my mouth on that side if I'm not careful, but I think I'll be okay to eat. So I'm gonna go home and try and figure out what I'm gonna have. See if I'm gonna go by what I decided really fast in my five minutes of deciding really fast <laughs> or if I'm gonna do something else. Oh, it's smiling funny, that's cute. Aw. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> You like that? That's good. I'm home. I hope that the kids have gotten their school mostly done. I know Virginia's still gonna need help with math because she's really struggling with some of that. But I'm gonna get myself something to eat and then help her out and then we'll get headed into the dance studio. Sorry I'm late, ladies. How are we all today? Morning or afternoon, whichever it is. Hello, Marsha. Okay, bring me the, yeah, Elva drinks it. Bring me the bowl, I'll get him some water. All right, well, I'll fill that up in a second. Kids saw a bunch of hawks circling. What the heck, we got a black hawk or something. The girls say that there was like three or five hawks circling our yard. Yeah, I guess our, our chickens are fairly protected over here, so I think if a hawk actually dove in here, they'd probably have plenty of places to hide, but geez, it's like they went and got all their friends. I really don't love that, but what can we do? Should we find out if she's gonna bite me? Usually she doesn't. Ah! ah! She just bite it? Yep. At least she doesn't bite me usually unless she's broody, so that isn't good. Mm -hmm. Mommy? This is how you handle a broody chicken. <laughs> oh, she really didn't want to come out of there, did she? She's biting me tooth and nail to keep them eggs. Dang it. Look at that, guys. That's so much eggs. 12 eggs. Woohoo! Guys, I really need to eat but I'm so obsessed with the chickens. I can't stop. I keep getting distracted. I even got a major splinter in my hand there and I need to go and like get it out. But Roxy's about to lay her first egg and I just, I just, I can't stop watching. I'm hiding down here because she doesn't want to. Hi Roxy. So let me tell you the reason I'm excited. Roxy is our only olive egger. She hasn't laid an egg yet and she's supposed to lay really dark olivey green eggs and I'm so excited. Whoa, hi Jasper. How can you How can you go too fast? Let him just re, let him swing for a minute. Come watch Come watch rocks. It's supposed to go that high. No, it's not going to break. It doesn't matter. It's not going to break. Pointingly, I've waited 25 minutes and that chicken is still in there not laying an egg. So either she's not going to lay it or she's not going to lay it while I'm sitting here because I have to go eat or I'm going to run out of time. Watch. She'll lay the egg the second I walk away. I just know it. 
I use spray cream on my Creo Brew and I am videoing it really fast before I before it melts. Seven grams of heavy cream in the Creo Brew and then nine grams of spray the sugar-free spray cream from Walmart on top. Alright, and the rest of what I'm gonna eat, a vanilla custard with cinnamon on top. I've showed that a lot in videos, so if you don't know how to make it, check the recipes playlist. And three, three sugar-free jellos. Alright, we're in the car, we're ready to go. Going to dance. These cuties are looking adorable, right Jesper? Always. Right? guys I'm finally home from the dance studio it is 8 30 p.m. so I'm definitely outside my intermittent fasting window I think for the day I don't actually haven't done the math but I think so yeah because I, I ate it at like 11 15 and then now I'm eating at 8 30 but that's life you know what can't always have it perfect but I'll tell you what my calories were perfect so that's all that matters to me right now all right so I'm gonna show you what I'm having for my last meal tonight I am having a chicken taco salad so I have one package of a nacho cheddar quest chips and then I have six ounces of chicken breast um, 80 grams I believe it is of bell pepper 20 grams of onion 60 grams of tomato three tablespoons of picante sauce 45 grams of sour cream and two ounces of cheddar cheese pretty sure that's it and that is going to be my last meal of the day I just took my vitamins. I'm about to go hit my last dose of Sole and then head to bed. It's midnight. I actually made it on time with two videos tonight. Be proud of me, guys. Be proud. <laughs> I'm ready to be done with the daily vlogging on two channels, though, to be completely honest. I'm looking forward to the weekend, too. Moving back to my regularly scheduled program. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see y'all tomorrow.